We are at home cooking with Miss Brenda D. So welcome from Miss Brenda D. Her family. Hello everyone. How y'all doing on this nice beautiful day? Today we are preparing my stove top meatloaf y'all and here are our ingredients. Okay, in my bowl I'm adding my ground beef. tomato sauce, my garlic powder, black pepper, and onion powder, my salt, I always keep these little baggies handy and I leave them in my refrigerator and sometimes I freeze them but I knew I was going to make this uh, meatloaf, so I left them down in the refrigerator. So I'm adding some of those. I'm not going to add all of them, just some of them. My egg and my breadcrumbs. Be careful not to use too many breadcrumbs. Here I'm mixing this all together. Y'all, I'm not making very much. This is maybe two pounds of ground beef. Make sure you mix this up well. Sometimes I don't add the 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 eggs, but in this recipe I am because like I say, this is stove top and we want our mixture to stay together. You want this well combined. I used to make this back in the day when my kids were small because they the patience wasn't very long, and so <laughs> I had to think of recipes to make that was that I had to do a shortcut with, so I so I can feed. I had to think of something that I could feed my family that was quick. I say it like that. Okay, in this skillet, I'm adding just a little bit of oil. I didn't show y'all the uh, I didn't show the oil in my ingredients, but I'm gonna add just a little oil at the bottom. So our meatloaf won't stick. Just very little. This may not even be maybe a half a tablespoon. Okay, here I'm shaping up my, I'm shaping them up. And you can make these as small or as large as you want. These are like personal ones, you know. Try not to put them too close together. I think this recipe gonna make maybe like six.
Okay, here I'm adding my last one. Okay, I'm cooking these on a medium high heat. We don't want these to cook too fast. Okay, as they cook, make sure you check and see if it's brown on the bottom. These hadn't browned just yet, so I'm going to let these continue to cook a little while longer. Okay, it's been maybe like four or five minutes. I'm going to check. Yeah, these are ready now to be flipped over. As y'all can see, it has brown some. And so I'm going to turn them all over. Be very careful when you're turning these over. Okay, we're going to let these brown some more on the other side. And I'm going to be right back. Okay, these have been cooking for another four or five minutes. I'm turning them over again. Like I say, be very careful when turning these over. Okay, what I'm going to do now uh, is add my lid on this, and we're going to let these cook. I'm going to let these cook for maybe 10 to 12 minutes. Make sure you're not cooking these too fast. Uh, cook these on maybe right at medium heat because we don't want, like I said, we don't want these to cook too fast. We want to make sure they're done through and through. Okay, I'm going to be back. Okay, in this uh, little cup, I'm using like a, maybe a half a can of uh, tomato sauce and I'm adding some ketchup to it. It all depends. You can add like two or three uh, tablespoons just to make a, just a little glaze because all you're doing is just making a little glaze to go on top. Most of the time, I just add all, I just cover my whole uh, meat loaves with um, the tomato sauce. So I use quite a bit, but you don't have to use um maybe a half a can and just top your um meatloaf with the glaze always taste make sure it's like you want man just a little bit more ketchup Adding that ketchup, it gives it a more like a savory, sweet taste. Not a sweet, a sweet, sweet taste, but it does does something to your tomato sauce by adding your ketchup. Okay. Okay. Here I'm checking on my meat. Low. Make sure it's not cooking too fast. See, that's why you go back. Um. Uh, time to time and check and you can just turn them back over because we don't want them to burn at the bottom okay we we'll turn my lid on here and let them keep cooking all 
Okay, here what I'm gonna do. You remove these. These are ready. Remove them. You can feel them. If you're not for sure if they're, they're ready or not, you can always um, get a fork and open one up to make sure it's ready. Here's my, I'm going to drain this all from here and I'm going to be right back. Okay, here, what I'm doing, I'm adding my sauce on top of my meatloaf. And then what I do is I just pour the remainder of it, just, just pour it down off in there, okay? Make sure there's some sauce on the bottom as well. Okay. And we just let these uh, cook for maybe eight to 10 minutes just to make sure they're ready, okay? And then I'm gonna be back with the final result. Okay, y'all, there we have it. This is our meatloaf. Let me show y'all how it looks. Place two on here. Okay, y'all, this is what, this is my meatloaf. I did this uh, video especially for you uh, because uh, I had some requests for me to make this and so um, I didn't make anything else just yet to go with this but I just want to show y'all how this meatloaf let me show y'all how it turned out on the inside this is how it's, it looks on the inside okay here is done through and through. So I just want to share this uh, video with y'all. I had made this with my scalloped potatoes and green beans, I'm not mistaken. I just wanted to share this uh, recipe with you all. I'm going to also share the pictures of the one that I did make with the scalloped potatoes as well. Okay, y'all, y'all enjoy this recipe. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And don't please don't forget about that notification bell so y'all can get all my upcoming videos, okay? Okay, as always, I'm going to say y'all have a blessed day and bye-bye for now. I've got some exciting news to share with you all. I have a sister that has started a new YouTube channel called No Place Like Home by Betty Langston. And I want y'all to go over, if you don't mind, and, and show her some love and subscribe to her channel because she's going to have some really neat things to show you all. She's going to do DIYs, home interior and vlogs y'all and i know y'all don't want to miss it so y'all if you don't mind stop by and and check out her channel i'm going to leave all the the information in my description box stay safe and be blessed love y'all we are at home cooking with miss brenda d so welcome from miss brenda d and our family that's a hit!